Welcome back to game number one here between Wineland on the Aztecs in the blue trunks up against Oso on the Kema in the orange, no, orange, grey trunks. Sorry guys, it's been a hell of a week with commentary. Bit all over the place. Anyway, proud to present to you the combi team. Uh, Copa Mexico 6, Viage del Al Mechland tournament, sorry. Again, I'm just a bit all over the shop with me commentary. So, spawning here is the camera player. Oso. So not have to worry about building pre racks but he's going to get them all out of the way in the Dark Age, just for his economy. But his farmers can actually have to drop off next to mills and town centers. So you can actually put your original ones around your town center just to defend them. And put them around and underneath towers later on if you're ever towering up. Or right next to your military production so they're always nicely defended. Stronger scorpions and access to ballista elephants. Well, Wineland on Aztecs. Better villager carry. Military units train really fast and strong monks. A little bit of extra starting gold as well. Just a really flexible infantry and range sieve in general with a solid eco. And just fast training in general. No access to cavalry for the Aztecs though. Oh, camera. Pretty nice. Ranged. Heli. And siege access, but no bombard cannons. No laming or any other funny business going on early here. Should be a fairly open map too, so I wonder if we're going to see anything in the way of rushes here. Sorry guys, wait a sec. So anyway, early barracks here. From Wineland. He's gonna start his militia production. Like I said, it was very open map, so an investment actually guarding the wood and your mines. So rear side wood line here for Oso wants to really be nice and safe. Walling off this other choke over here as well. So fine lands really gonna have to take the trip around to get on top of Oso's base and into his villages. So, so I'm just trying to wall himself off here, keeping this villager safe. Eagle Warrior. So able to try and chip away at the villager if he's right in the corner trying to get the building off. Only on the one health, so. Okay, so a little bit lucky to keep him alive there. He's only on the two health. 
So he's not gonna go for his own early barracks just yet. Village are now walled in fully. Just to make sure the Eagle Scout doesn't pick him off. He's only on the two health, but he will be able to survive until Wineland gets access to range units. He's going for feudal right now. While Oso, no barracks just yet. He's just looking to gather through this, get his own feudal age, and look at potentially just skipping the infantry line completely. being picked off there by the scout cav. This villager is still stuck and having to repair for his life. The range going up. So no buildings required both to advance the next age or unlock other buildings. That camera player able to skip barracks, go straight for range and stables now, try and hold off the militia and any potential follow up. So a range behind the barracks. So we'll probably see Spear Archer versus Cav Archer or double range here. Mixed range units. Houses can garrison as well. Really handy for Kemmer. Fletching already. Just to make the range units a little bit more accurate. Oh, you got range transition and skipping the man at arms upgrade for Wineland. I think he only went with the two man at arms, so he's not bothering. That one villager still stuck in there for the time being. Chasing him a militia at the moment. No archers just yet for Oso. Just gonna try and take the fight against the two militia. The pair of them might actually be able to pick off one of the skirms if he stops to try and attack here. These guys hit quite hard against the skirmishers. But now that there's five of them, man at arms having to try and sorry, militia try, having to try and find something else to be a pain in the ass against. So Wineland walling himself in nearly completely. Oso doing the same, he's just left a little bit of his town center open. Is there still that one villager in there? I think Wineland's been able to, so Oso's been able to sneak it out of there. So I know Wineland's actually picked it off. So after all that work from Oso, Wineland's managed to pick off that one villager. And he's got plenty of his archers out now. Uh, it's a wicked skirmish account here for Oso. Wineland's starting to go for a bit more farming here. So I'm going to distance gather with these wood gatherers for the time being. Scout actually being attacked straight away there. So one lane quick on the defense. Should be able to wall this up in time before Oso gets here. Should be able to pick up the scout cab as well. So no more vision for Oso. But he still has a nice scam count. These guys should be able to decimate the archers. There's nowhere for the spearman to get out, I don't think. Probably just needs to finish that house. 
get these guys back gathering gold. Blacksmith on the way now. For Wineland, Oso, having already got his and gone for Fletching. Skip the bags. So a bit of a saving here for the camera player. being built just to finish off the wall. Spear being picked off. The village is going to have to retreat. She's yeah, safe. The skirms don't have too much range for the time being. A couple of idlers here still. But just getting back to work for Wineland. Oso's really forces his opponent up to turtle from here. Wineland going for a little bit of harass on these exposed bills, so they're going to have to garrison Oso. He's just camping in front of the range for now. So there's a stables now. But Oso is taking Castle Edge. Wineland a little bit faster on the Castle Edge. So, walling up properly with stone walls now. White man just lying on Palisade for the time being. Couple of Eagle Scouts being trained up here. Palisade gate now. Added to the collection. A little stronger than regular walls, but there's a larger surface area, so it is, in theory, easier to take them down. So he's still got it behind the rest of the palisade there. Very smart of him to do so. Okay, so, age up finishing up the winelands. Already complete. Wineland. Adding Eagle Warrior. We've got plenty of Eagle Scouts now. Okay, so moving out, but these the skirms are going to be able to pick off a couple of the archers of Winelands here. The Eagle Warriors. A bit of a bait. Now going to be able to pick off the skirmishes fairly easily. So trying to chase the archers and he might be able to get one or two more here but at the same time he should lose a lot of skirms for this and he's really having to try and wall himself in. He's going to get another town centre here. All the skirms going to fall. Just freeing up pop space bro. Bear in mind the skirm's quite a trash unit. For E-Warriors and the archer line. Expensive gold units, and gold is a lot more limited resource than the wood and the food that the skirmishes cost. So Wineland. It's not going to be easy to make his way into Oso's base. Really, here is the most exposed part. Because there's double walls up along this left side. He might be able to work his way through next to this town centre here because this house is exposed. So he can't really send much in the way to repair it, but he can keep adding more houses behind it. While well, some of the knights of Oso's now have been massed up. He's gone for two stables. And he's put a hole in the wall just to slip some of his cavalry out, so... Oso. Some scary raiding units on the field. Wineland's walls are a lot thinner, they're paper thin, just palisades. And this army is going to struggle to deal with the knights unless um, Wineland can add another couple of units. Needs to get a few uh, more eagle warriors or a few more archers for this to really work against the uh, knights. In fact, those archers need to get out of there. They're going to get picked off really quickly. So, Wineland resorting to Trying to scout up the map and defend Oso's impending push. 
they say, focusing down the gate. Wine land. I'm gonna try and wall up behind it with some houses. Wine land now has that monk. So you can possibly convert some of those knights. Wine land just scouting out the resources out on the edges of the map. I say looking to do the same, and if he catches this one eagle warrior, oh, we'll be lucky not to. Oh no, he will actually notice that they'll beeline it now. It's important to try and get a hold of both of these patches of resources if you can, and even these mid map golds. Really be nice for booming up once our players have got multiple TCs, and they've got three TCs here for Wineland, two. For Oso at the moment. So Oso down by 12 villages now. 71 to 59. He's adding a lot more knights, so his knight production is really solid. Two stables production here versus the two barracks, Eagle Warrior production, as well as some more monks. So this is a very, very gold intensive army here by Wine Lane. Eventually he's going to run out of it at home. He's going to have to try and get control of the relics too. Looks like Light Cav trying to intercept the Monk. They may be able to pick it off but they probably are also both going to fall. One of them being converted there as well. Oh but another one being picked off here by Oso. So this is worth it. The gold a lot less uh, expendable than the food of the light cab. And this is slowing down the relic timing here. AoE 2 relics gather the gold at a substantially slower rate than AoE 4 relics. <coughs> Sorry. So it takes an awful lot longer to actually accrue the value back here. Palisades being picked off and some extra wall houses being thrown up there. Either player access to range here, so they're both just sort of going to back off. A bit of dancing on the opposite sides of the wall. There are still some monks here. Bunch of barracks being added now. So Wineland really wants to ramp this Eagle Warrior push. He's also still been adding monks through this. So he wants to try and get a hold of all those relics once he knows it's safe to do so. It's interesting that's a little gap there that uh, the horses can't just jump over. The Max is man, this is going to be an impressive push from Wineland. I hope Oso is ready to deal with it, he's got his stables. Full of knights back at home as well. All up to his third town center now. So, vill count difference is only 14. Impressive echoes from our players. Okay, so just making sure Wineland's not got anything proxied out in the map. He's walled in one of the relics. But Wineland's been really unable to look at going for a lot of quick relics here got a hold of any at all. University now for Oso. Walling in that wood line, that's a very nice idea. Oh, but the relic! Not completely walled off, and Oso unable to stop Wineland from snatching it over the gap there. Man, unit mechanics in this game are just fucking weird. So that's really nice for Wineland, able to recover that relic. Really rough for Oso. There's another relic over here. I think Wineland's going to look at going for, but Oso is just making sure he's not able to get this one over to the right here. Oso's. Monks, I mean, Oso might be able to catch a whole bunch of the monks. In fact, Wineland's monk didn't pay all that well. 
So he tried to go through the Palisade Gate, which is walled off, and he's going to get picked off. So that's like 400 gold towards Oso right there, with those monks all going down. That's huge. Very nice for Oso. Oh, relics generate 33% extra gold for Aztecs. Huge number of Eagle Warriors. I don't really want to intercept the Knights alone until they've got a slightly bigger cluster. Well, back at home for Oso. He's having a deal with the fact that Wineland is still pushing into his base and the repair these houses behind all this. Wineland looking to push forward with more siege and he's through with the Eagle Warriors. Well this other bunch might be able to take a fight against half the cluster of knights. Oh this is great for Wineland and terrible for Oso at the moment. A lot of those knights falling for near free there. Well, Oso having a garrison an awful lot. Swine lane's now through to his base. Nice uneven trades into his opponent, picking off villages as well. Oso having to try and defend against this proxy for the Rams. It looks like it's too late. Wine Lane's going to have Rams on his doorstep, going to be able to take out the university, all these houses, and threaten the town centers. Well, a lot of the farm villages being picked off by Wineland. It's looking really rough for Oso right now. 126 to 74 the Ville counts at the moment, so that gap is just growing and growing. Oso's not putting any pressure on Wineland at the moment. He's lost all of his knights and GG. Oso taps out.